Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sarah Dawn, and today I wanna to talk about five characteristics that make men more attractive. Now, I did ask my Instagram audience, which 20% of them are women, and I had some really good answers, so I wanna share them with you today. Now, the first one that a lot of women all agreed on, and basically I got, this was the number one, was humility and lack of ego, lack of that bravado, lack of that, just, you know, those guys who here's, here's how a woman experiences an ego from a guy. A lot of times he can be controlling. A lot of times he can, um, put her in her place, but like in kind of a mean way. I call this the wounded masculine. There is a difference between that, like, super, super alpha guy who has something to prove. When you are self-confident and when you have a lack of ego, there is a certain piece about you that you are walking around that you don't have to brag, that you don't have to tell people what your accomplishments are. You are just that self-confidence. I That self-confident. I think that what women find to be disingenuous and it comes across as that is a man who feels as though he has something to prove. It, it really is, for lack of better words, um, very childish. That's what a child does. A child goes around stomping his feet and talking about all of his accomplishments because he's looking for validation outside of himself. But a man who is confident and who has that je ne sais quoi about him, he doesn't give a rat's ass about what anyone thinks, let alone a woman, a man, anybody. So I think it's really humility, doing things that you love to do and doing things for you know the good of mankind without boasting about it. Think about that. That is very attractive to a woman. Um, so the second one they said was a great group of other male friends. Now, Hmm. which is ironic because as much as women try and, I don't know, bitch and complain about you going and having your guy friends on the flip side, if you don't have male friends, or if you don't have a circle of other men or other, other men who are keeping you grounded and you only want to spend your time with her, that is something that they also don't like. So a, a big surprise, women change their mind or women are contradictory. Yes, they are. Um, but I think a great group of other men that you surround yourself with, or that you, even if you play video games with them, or even some of my live or my members who participate in my lives, I found out that they actually talk out, outside of my lives. Like they are friends. That's phenomenal. I, I have so much respect for that. So start embracing, you know, getting to know other men who are like you, whether they are sigmas, whether they are alphas, get outside of your house and meet other men because that is very attractive to women. All right. So the third one that was the most popular was the ability to maintain eye contact and being able to just have a conversation without looking away. Now, I saw a video the other day of another dating coach. Her name is Elsa. Mm -hmm. Hi, Elsa, if you're watching. Uh, you can follow her on Instagram, Elsa Morek, I believe her name is. And she showed a video of a group function. It was like a speed dating thing where they were all in line. And there is something that I observed when I was watching this 60 second video, that was very, very telling. The guys who were kind of like looking up or looking to the side, they were not really maintaining eye contact with the women. They were looking all around when they were telling a story. I, I as a woman, I immediately get thought to myself like that. They're not going to get a second date with that woman because they do not have the ability to hold and maintain eye contact. That is a very, that's the most intimate thing that you can do within conversation. So even if you are looking away for a moment, bring the, bring the attention back to the person that you're talking to and 
maintain eye contact. It's just like walking up to somebody and having, you know, a weak handshake. And that's when you don't maintain eye contact during a conversation, that is exactly the same thing. All right. So the fourth one is having goals and leading people, but without using fear tactics or control. I think that you got, you guys all know the difference between good bosses and bad bosses. The difference is that a good boss has the ability to motivate other people, has the ability to inspire other people without creating fear, without threatening, without using manipulative tactics to get their employees to do certain things. So I think that as a woman is getting to know you and men who are leaders, they don't raise their voice. They don't threaten. They don't get angry. They don't lose their temper because it, it takes more intelligence and a smarter man or a more stoic man in order to understand how to motivate and how to lead people. There, there's thought behind that. And I think that the biggest difference that I can see is almost somebody like a, like a Jordan Peterson, right? He's so smart. He's so intelligent. You got your Chris Williams, you got your Joe Rogans of the world. Um, and then you have other leaders that I won't mention, but there are some other leaders out there, different regimes and different parts of the world that basically just use fear to control. And a woman takes that viscerally. A woman thinks that's like a pimp. You don't have any control with men like that. And that is not a comfortable place for a woman to be. So a woman will be happy to be submissive to a man, but most, well, okay, that's a whole other video. But I would say for myself, and even in the relationship that I am in, there is no fear. There is no control. A woman will be submissive to you if you exhibit leadership qualities just in general, that you talk about what you want, you talk about what you need, you ask good questions, you're able to inspire someone through your own actions. That is very attractive to women because let's face it, and this might not be a popular opinion with women watching my my content or my, my channel, but women want to be led. I truly believe that women do not want to be the leaders in their relationship. They want to be led, but unfortunately nobody teaches leadership. Nobody teaches how to be a leader. And really here's my essence of a leader is somebody who's able to self-assess, somebody who's able to look within themselves, someone who is able to make changes when they you know, learn new information and somebody who's thought through their decisions and their actions and who wants to share their vision with someone and where they're going. That is a leader. Okay. So the last one, these are all very cerebral. I, I found it to be very cool that the ladies put some of these things. And I thought it was great. The last characteristics that make men more attractive is having a balanced view of the world and not being so polarized to one or the other. Okay. Women are obviously very open sometimes and they have views about things that aren't necessarily very concrete. Now, there's one thing if you have values about your religion, about God, about things that you think are very important to you, that's fine. You need to have values. You need to have certain things that you are rooted in and you believe in and that you have strong opinions about. But, but, you know, those people that you're around and there's so much cognitive dissonance in their mind. There's so much that you try to convince them and they cannot see another way. That is unattractive. Because that's going to be someone that when you argue with them, they don't see your point of view. That's going to be someone who, when you try and offer a different opinion, they're going to squash yours and they're going to say, no, it's my way or the highway. Okay. That makes you feel again, controlled. That makes you feel like you don't have an opinion that makes you feel not seen or heard. Um, so being able to be presented with new information and go, huh, didn't think about it that way, but I will, I will think about 
things that way. Or let me, let me, let me kind of digest what you're saying and come back to you. So not being too polarized, but really having the opportunity to take in new information and put it through your filter and then come back to her and say, actually, I thought about this and I think you might be right about this. Beautiful. That is such an amazing characteristic and so attractive, not just in men, but in women too. So that's it. This is my Instagram audience spoke. I hope this was helpful. Think about the things where you might, you know, need to look within yourself and where others might've given you feedback on these five things, humility, lack of ego, a great group of other men, eye contact, and the ability to maintain it, having goals and being able to lead people without fear, tactics, or control, and having a balanced view of the world. So thank you so much for watching. My name is Sarah Dawn. If you found value in this, please like the video or leave a comment and I will see you on the next one.